Hi, welcome to Deserts of Karak on Aging Gamers. I think it's Karak. Karak? I don't know. Anyway, I've been excited for this one because I love me some real time strategies. So, um, I'm not going to dick around too much without further ado. Um, tutorial, sure. Why the hell not? Oh, it's gorgeous. In this tutorial, you'll learn the basics of how to play. Objectives are displayed on the left. These are your gameplay goals. All right, sweet. Select a unit by left-clicking or dragging a selection box around the unit. Carrier cop. Left-click and hold to drag a selection box around several units. Move selected units by clicking the right mouse button on a position. On our way. All right. I mean, there should be a tutorial for, like, I've played real-time strategies at some point in my goddamn life, <laughs> so... Alright. Yeah, alright, I feel you. Hold shift when issuing commands to cue them. Oh, here first. So I'm gonna pause this until it gets Next interesting. Next, you learn how to control the game cam. These low res FMVs. <laughs> Our planet is dying. The desert grows with every passing year. The world is at war but there is hope an object has been detected deep within the great banded desert it has been called the jiraki object the primary anomaly we believe it may hold the key to our salvation an expedition to retrieve it is being prepared Kind of digging the art style. It's like a nice throwback to the original homeworld while still being updated. I like it. It's like 3D and 2D at the same time. Uh, kind of messes with my head a little bit. This game doesn't require a lot of specs, but they really uh, made it pretty, I must say, for just being like a, a like voidless a desert void or whatever. Shadowing is all nice. Units are simple yet. Rachel, we need that control module hooked up before we launch, and we don't have a lot of time. Understood. Clearance to approach? You're clear. Gate 5. They're simple, yet they're uh, good. Like, in a real-time strategy, the units don't need to be, like, super Rachel. high poly counts. Galcian attacks have been launched against multiple coalition bases. The northern frontier is under attack. The launch bar expedition carrier, the Capisi, has been ex 
accelerated. This is the captain of the Sajet Carrier to PC. All crews, Hangar 5. Stand by to initiate rollout sequence. Loading control module now. Stand by. Engage main drive. Look at the blue internals. Just like the old school home world. Did a good job capturing the chatter. Bringing systems online. Fleet manager online. Resource control system online. Unit status online. Command system online. Objective tracking online. All control systems successfully installed and online. Systems confirmed. Rachel, redeploy to your base runner. Copy that. Attention all stations. This is fleet intelligence for the expedition carrier Capisi. I will be issuing all mission objectives through this channel. Before departure, we need to run essential tests on our key capabilities. Vehicle production, resource salvaging, and combat operations. Time is of the essence, so let's run through these quickly. Fleet operations, is your channel clear? Affirmative. I will be providing all non-critical updates on unit production, research, resource salvaging, and all carrier systems through this channel. Copy that. Stand by to initiate production test. Go for carrier. First, deploy a salvager from the command carrier Capisi. That builds nice and quick. Salvager online. Stand by to commence resource test. Assuming that's this. Order the salvager to gather nearby resources located here. Oh, I need to. Oh, no. System is ready. <laughs> Rachel, the Capisi support cruiser has suffered a mechanical failure and requires immediate repairs before departure. They're responding. Get that. Use your base runner to repair the support cruiser located here. Base runner. Well, this must just be like a support unit. I don't know. Repairs completed. Good work, Rachel. Stand Four. by for combat Cruiser. test. In order to produce combat vehicles, we will need to invest time and resources in upgrading our tech. For Capisi. The first step is to upgrade the Capisi's advanced manufacturing facilities. Once that is done, we will be able to build light attack vehicles. Carrier here. Go for carrier. All right, upgrade. Uh, here we go. Light attack vehicle fabrication. Research completed. Light attack vehicle fabrication now online. Easy, go ahead. How many should I be? Three light attack vehicles Three. from the Capisi. Light attack vehicle in service. Light attack vehicle online. All operators, CENCOM, you Light attack vehicles ready. Target drones are now ready for weapons testing. They use the light attack vehicles to target and destroy the drones located here. Reading. Move order confirmed. Uh, located where? Oh, I can't use the... Uh... Where are the drones? There they On are. Way. Move up and be on alert. 
Okay, so this is more what I expected from the tutorial. The actual tutorial, all it did was just show me basic RTS mechanics. These guys just kind of move around on their own once they're in attack All required formation tasks anyway. are complete. Give me a go, no go for launch. Operations? Go. Bridge? Go. Rachel? Science team's in place. We're go. Engineering? Go. Confirm all systems go. I like how he just says Rachel. She doesn't have like a title or anything. Sajet Carrier Capisi, we are go for launch. No interference. I hear you. Copy that. PC, go ahead. Oh, launch I just go and clear out. Understood. Prepare to open outer door. I thought I was gonna have to like actually move them myself. Outer doors opening. Mass ratio in line. Tracking solid. I'm not sure how they did it, but they really captured the homeworld feel, even though like we're on the ground. Bring engines to speed and move out. I think one of the most immersive qualities of the original homeworld games was like the chatter between the units. Have they all doors at full aperture and secure. She's all yours, Captain. They were all very uh, professional sounding, calm, that kind of stuff. I always liked it. Uh, although I did read that All they station. have. This is your captain. Today we embark on a historic mission to find and retrieve the Draghi object. Lying at the heart of the Great Bandit Desert, deep inside Galcian territory. We believe it holds the key to our survival on this planet. The journey will be perilous. But if successful, we will change the course of history forever. And secure our future for generations to come. Until Karak is burned. Um, anyway, uh, like I was Personal saying. Log, yeah. Science officer Rachel Sajet, expedition carrier Capisi. We've launched three months ahead of schedule and just in time. The Gaussian threat was far greater than we had anticipated. As the lead scientist on this expedition, I'm more convinced than ever that my brother was right that what lies out there amongst the dunes holds the key to our survival on this planet and possibly beyond. We have no choice now but to believe. Possibly beyond. Oh, foreshadowing to the other game. Okay, um, I'm gonna end this video here and then I'm gonna pick right up on the next mission. Um, but first I'm gonna go upload this. So I hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned. I'm gonna crank out as many of these as I can. Um, I'm actually feeling a little sick today, but I'm going to try and uh, make it work. Uh, please like, subscribe, and favorite. Uh, I'll see you next time.